Another Italian team taking victory, this time in MotoGP, which took place in Thailand. Um, it was a somewhat not very interesting round of uh, of action, but the championship, once again, just like Formula 1, has gotten a little bit closer together with uh, Italian gun Pecco Bagnai taking victory um, on the Grand Prix. Uh, obviously, they had the sprint and the Grand Prix as well, both races. And uh, yeah, Paco Bagnaia took control of the race, actually, um, which was nice to see uh, with rival Jorge Martin in second place. Um, it was actually a wet Grand Prix, um, which uh, it was a bit of an interesting race because it showed people's potential in the wet, um, which obviously doesn't happen very often. However, driver, sorry, riders, not drivers, riders like Jack Miller, the Aussie, uh, showed off his uh, potential in the wet weather. He probably wishes every race is wet. Obviously, he had his first Grand Prix victory many years ago at Assen in the torrential rain, and he won by an absolute mile in, on a bike that was nowhere near competitive. So, yeah, obviously, we know that he's very good in the wet and did prove it. He finished in p5 actually i was watching the replay and uh didn't really notice during the race but uh with only a couple laps to go he was on the podium he was on he was in p3 but uh rookie young gun pedro costa nabbed that off for him on the second to last lap i believe and fabio Di antonio who i believe is not actually racing for the rest of the year due to his surgery um great way to finish the year though in p4 obviously brilliant work there but let's go back to the championship battle um there's now only a 17-point gap uh, between Jorge Martin, who still leads over Peko Bagnai. <laughs> it's uh, it's an incredible battle. And I really hope next year there is also a battle. Obviously, everyone's predicting, especially Yvonne, that Mark Marquez is going to dominate on the new Ducati, which I kind of expect too. But uh, just for entertainment purposes, I really hope there is a championship battle, like there has been the last couple of years. But it's going to go down to the wire. It really is. And um, not many races to go. And uh, yeah, there's only 17 points in it. So yeah, I'm, <laughs> I, just, I really can't get the excitement out of my out of my chest at the moment. But um, let's keep, keep going through the, the, the results here for the race. Um, Brad Binder was the sixth place finisher. Um, Vinales was, uh, sorry, Maverick Vinales was in seventh. Uh, Zarko actually was in um, eighth. Uh, actually, a lot of Hondas finished in the points. Which, if Ivan was here, he'd be like opening his eyes because yeah, they've had a really really tough run over the last couple of years. But they had uh, four, four riders. Actually, that's all of them. That's every single Honda rider finished in the points. So maybe if every race was in the wet conditions, um credit to them they would win quite a lot of races um alicia spargo on the aprilia was ninth alex marquez was in 10th because mark marquez who finished 11th um actually had an off he uh, had the slowest fall i've ever seen on a bike um at the same corner that everyone pretty much um went off at i don't remember the number of it but yeah quite a lot of riders and um, yeah, he was actually running in P3 at the time. So yeah, very unfortunate for Mark Marquez. Obviously, he's now fully out of contention for the championship now. And um, yeah, we'll see him next year. One, you know, like we said before, he'll be he'll be there. Don't worry, he'll be there next year on the brand new Ducati. Uh, Luca Marini was the uh, the twelfth finisher for Repsol Honda as the Italian rider. Uh, Takanakagami, who will be leaving the sport in a couple round or at the end of the season, um, was 13th. Uh, Anea Bastianini, who also had an off, uh, fellow Italian, was in 14th. So most riders who had offs managed to um, 
pick themselves up again and continue uh, because they weren't fast off. Because it was a wet race, they were running a lot slower. The race went a lot longer as well. And um, yeah, the, the, the offs weren't bad. They, they weren't too fast. I'm, I'm sure no riders got hurt. So, uh, And then Joan Mir, who won the championship a couple of years ago, uh, finished P15, the last points finisher, and Fabio Quattro was the last finisher. So there were a couple non-finishers. Um, there was uh, Augusto Fernandez, Alex Rins, Lucas Salvadori, uh, Franco Morbidelli, who I want to um, uh, talk about real quick because um, he got karma and badly. He basically took out his ex-teammate in Fabio Quattararo, who, who finished 16th. Uh, they were P6 or 7 at the time. Quattararo was actually on the podium at one point, but dropped down as the race went along. And yeah, Franco dived down the inside at the corner where everyone was crashing. And uh, yeah, pretty much took out his ex-teammate, Fabio Quattararo. And then about, I think, four or five laps later, went off himself at the same corner. So unfortunately, Franco Morbidelli has a reputation for not having many friends on the grid and didn't help his case yesterday. Um, Raul Fernandez also went down uh, on the Trackhouse Racing bike and Marco Bensecchi, um was the first one to go down, unfortunately. And he completed three laps. Um, now, I believe there is some news that um, Andrea Anoni is going to be riding for the uh, VR46 team for the remainder of the year as Fabio Di Giantonio, who finished fourth, like I said, is having surgery. I believe it's on his shoulder, I think. Ivan knows. He mentioned it last week. Uh, obviously, they had the sprint round as the sprint race as well, which um, was quite boring, I must admit. It didn't wasn't too much action there. Uh, Anea Bastianini, though, was the victor of that. So, um, yeah, double Ducati victory. Uh, Jorge Martin once again was second. Uh, Banyaya was third this time. Mark Marquez fourth. Um, then it was Alex Marquez, Franco Morbidelli again, Benzeki. DJ Antonio and Brad Bindia running out the points. For some reason, there's only nine points finishes in the sprint. It's a bit of a weird. I would have just gone with 10, but whatever. But yeah, like I said, Max Championship really, really tight for the remainder of the year.